All right, so comics are back. So unfortunately, my store, the only single issues they got were from Marvel. Uh, for some reason, the DC single issues weren't in their delivery for some reason or another, I don't know. Um, it is what it is, but uh, they still had trades, the DC trades available. So I grabbed a few Marvel single issues and a couple trades this week at my local comic book store. So it'll be a pretty quick video this week, guys. So stick around and we'll talk about this week's haul. All right, guys, like I said, it's only gonna be you know, short, short video uh, this week. There, there wasn't a lot of selection. For some reason, my store, they um, they could only got their Marvel issues delivered, not DC for some reason or another. Hopefully that gets sorted out in the next few weeks, especially before Batman 92 comes out because I really don't wanna miss out on Batman 92. I don't think anybody does, but it's, yeah, this is the time we are at the moment. But anyway, guys, before I get into this week's haul, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Also, comment and let me know how uh, how you guys are going with collecting comics this week. Did, has there been any delays with your orders, your store's orders? Were you able to get all the titles you wanted that were supposed to come out this week? Or are you like me and you now it's just sort of a week-to-week -week thing at the moment? But anyway, guys, as always, there's all my social media stuff, uh, Facebook and Instagram there, so go ahead and... Uh, Follow those accounts if you want to know when I'm putting out videos as well. So, I've battled enough, so let's get into the first comic I picked up this week. Venom number 25 by Donny Cates. And Donny Cates, uh, at the moment, he's like the man at Marvel. Like, I don't think you can pick up a bad book by Donny Cates at the moment. He's also writing Thor, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. The, the two big names, like writers-wise, at the moment, I think Marvel is Donny Cates and DC is James Tinian, or, or the fourth, or, you know, whatever it is. But really good story, this one, guys. So I'll quickly just talk about, since I don't have a lot to uh, show you this week, but uh, sort of goes on Eddie Brock doing like a, like a prologue or an epilogue about what happened on Venom Island. I got, this is the first issue I picked up of uh, Venom. And it, and it was like, I, I could jump into it. I just, I just read the introduction at the start and I didn't feel like I was missing on a, on a whole great deal at all. So that basically, that's basically what the book's about. It just goes through uh, what Eddie Brock Venom um, did on the island, and you, you you know you read this issue, good name twenty five. It's a it's a good thick issue, double issue is a mini story in the back, which yeah, it just isn't bad, but um, not like it's yeah sort of yeah. But anyway, Eddie Brock's talking to the Avengers about what what happened on Venom Island, and not only that, I'll just try and find this picture real quick, guys. Not only that, but there's an awesome, awesome scene in there with uh, Carnage versus the Venom T-Rex, or T-Rex Venom, but um, yeah, I love I love dinosaurs since I was a kid, so seeing a symbiote T-Rex is, is pretty cool. So yeah, really good book. If uh, you're looking for a new title this week, Venom 25, like I said, my first jump into Venom was that issue and I didn't feel like I was missing out or got confused at all with jumping into that. Next one, we picked up Amazing Spider-Man number 43. I got the variant cover there by, I cannot remember who did this one, but I just finished reading Craven's Last Hunt, which I picked up in a big un uh, mail unboxing video that uh, I did last video, which I'll put a link up in the video there for you guys, to, if you haven't checked that out yet. A lot of good books I've picked up in that. So really like that uh, that variant cover there with Craven on the on the front, especially after reading, reading Craven's Last Hunt. So I did pick up uh, Spider-Man number 42 to sort of jump into it. So this is my first Amazing Spider-Man title uh, jumping into this at the moment. So it's written by, who's it written by? I don't even know who they are, unfortunately, sorry. Uh, who have we got? Uh, we've got Nick Spencer and Ryan Otley is the penciler. Nick Spencer the writer, sorry. So this one was just, it's just like, seems like a bit of a filler story. Uh, this guy, Grog, Gog, Gog, Grog, I, Gog, I think it is, Gog. Uh, yeah, so it just basically goes, and if I did realise, uh, 
true companion, this is part two. If I noticed that, I would have picked up issue 41 as well and picked up part one, so. But like with Venom, I sort of, I read this first, obviously, number 42 before 43, and it said that this was a really good story. It was, you know, it's just sort of how Gog came to be on planet Earth. He's not from this planet, but it, it, was, a, it was a pretty cool, fun story. I really enjoyed it, so... Um, Amazing Spider-Man as well, if you haven't read that. Um, like, I jumped into part two of that and didn't... You know, I wasn't too confused. And, obviously, this is the, you know, follow-up. They, um, the, the cover really has nothing to do with the story. But, um, yeah, the, the battle... Uh, is it Boomerang, the dude's name? So, they're sort of battling Gog, trying to uh, bring him down. Uh, Spider-Man's starting to get like a bit of a soft spot for him, and where is it? I'm just trying to find this little scene without sort of giving too much away, but, um, oh man, where is it? Yeah, you got the, the kingpin in there that wants to, um, blow, blow, uh, Gog up, shoot him down, whatever. Uh, but yes, um... I don't want to spoil anything, but it's, I don't think it's a spoiler, but, um, yeah, the ending's pretty silly, but it is what it is, but it, it does give you, um, uh, sort of what's going on in the next issue, uh, this, I don't want to show the other page, because I don't know if it's sort of giving anything away, but the, uh, uh Sins Rising prelude, so... That looks cool. So this, that's, it seems like a good time to sort of jump on The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, like I said, real easy issues to get into. You're not confused. You know what's going on, sort of. But you know enough to, you know, to enjoy the story. So that was the single issues, guys. I know, a really, really uh, small pickup today, uh, this week. But I picked up Gideon Falls, which is a bit of an older trade. And now this uh, goes issues one to six. Written by Jeff Lemire. The the I, I, um, does he do the art on? I think this uh, Andrea Sorrento does does the art. But uh, yeah, Image Comics. The art I have not read this at all yet. But the art looks very uh, like like a faded style. Like uh, like I guess sort of like a when when people when they're doing you know like um, like memory flashback scenes and it's. And it's, you know, you see how it's a bit sort of faded, a bit scuffed, a bit smudged. Um, yeah, I actually don't want to show that, so I don't know if that's sort of giving anything away. But, yeah, you get, um, yeah, just, you just it's, yeah, see, it's, 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 it's cool. Uh, I, you see, that, that's, that's a bit creepy as shit there. The Priest's always creepy when they're drawn like that anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I won't say anything else. But yeah, Gideon Falls, I'm excited. I've been, I've been told a lot about this for a long time, so I thought I picked it up for like 17 bucks Australian too. So um, I thought it was you know, a good time to pick it up while I had not many books to get. And excuse my French bulldog, she just cannot help herself. She just makes noise whenever I record videos, so I apologise. Last trade I picked up was Justice League Dark Volume 3, The Witching Hour. As I mentioned before, by James Tinney and the like, the, the big the big dude at DC at the moment, the um, yeah like one of the top top writers in DC at the moment, uh, Al Alvaro Martinez Bueno, the art the uh, penciler on this, and the art I've got to say like I have not read it, but I already know it's going to be fantastic. Like the art is like just unbelievable uh, the art is for nothing else you can pick this book up and just enjoy the art but um yeah excellent excellent story uh volumes one and two i've picked up and read i have not got wonder woman and the justice league da uh, justice league dark the witching hour i believe that one is so we will get it eventually hopefully maybe next week uh, maybe the week after but I know it is out at the moment. My store just didn't have it, unfortunately. But 
Very, very good book. So this uh, collects issues 14 to 19. I've picked up the single issues 20 and 21. And I think 21 was the last issue that came out of Justice League Dark before comics stopped shipping. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, once I read this, I can get back on track with those, uh, read those single issues and start collecting that run from there on and, and know exactly what's going on. So that is it guys, that is what I picked up. I got a couple of trades. I, um, let me know what you think of Gideon Falls if you've, if you've read it already. Um, Justice League Dark, also let me know what you think of that if you've read that already. And what do you think of uh, these books guys? Um, Venom, awesome, Spider-Man, pretty good. So. That's it. Very short video, guys. Remember to like and comment, you know, what you thought of the, of the videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And that is my weekend, guys. You guys have yourself a good weekend as well. And I'll see you next video. I'll see you later, guys.